us a new chapter that is negative numbers and integers before starting the main point that is integers at first we have to discuss about the natural numbers at first we have to discuss about the natural numbers what are natural numbers natural numbers are the numbers which are start which are started from 1 2 3 4 5 and so on these are called natural numbers suppose that 65 65 65 is a natural numbers okay next whole numbers what are whole numbers whole numbers are the numbers which are started from 0 onwards that means 0 1 2 3 4 5 and so on clear now you see there is some difference between the natural numbers and the whole numbers main difference is that natural numbers are started from 1 but the whole numbers are started from 0 that means 65 65 is a natural number as well as whole numbers but 0 0 is a whole number it is not a natural number clear so these all the numbers are the positive numbers clear suppose that minus 57 now you tell me is it the natural number or whole number no it is not a natural number or not a whole number so what is this it is an integer clear it is an integer that means integer means positive number sorry integer means negative numbers zero and positive numbers clear that means integer means negative numbers zero and positive numbers so negative numbers means minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 like this these are called negative numbers minus 3 minus 5 minus 6 these are negative numbers clear after that 0 and all the positive numbers 3 5 etc clear so again i am telling natural numbers and whole numbers whole numbers means started from 0 now you tell me minus 57 what is this minus 57 is an integers but plus 57 plus 57 you tell me plus 57 this is the positive numbers that means plus 57 is a natural numbers also as well as whole numbers also as well as integers also clear but minus 57 minus 57 it is not a natural number not a whole number it is an integers now moving to the next topic Direct numbers. Direct numbers. You see, plus 2 and minus 5. Okay? Plus 2 and minus 5. That means positive 2 and negative 5. Clear? That means plus 2 means gain of 2. This plus, plus indicates the direction. Plus indicates the direction. And 2 is the amount of gain amount of gain plus 2 means gain of 2 clear similarly minus 5 minus 5 means loss of 5 minus indicates the direction and 5 indicates the amount of loss clear Bo both positive and negative numbers are called directed numbers both positive and Negative numbers are called directed number. They are also called signed numbers also. You see here plus 2. That means here one direction is there. Plus 2. Here direction is there. 
minus y one direction is there that's why these both positive and negative numbers are called directed numbers okay now moving to the next topic integer on the number line already you have discussed integer means negative numbers zero and positive numbers so at first we have to draw the number line clear this number line in this number line already negative numbers zero and positive numbers so at first zero clear in the right hand side of the zero all the numbers are positive numbers clear and then in the left hand side all the numbers are are negative numbers clear now you see we will place the number 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so on the right hand side of the number 0 all the numbers are positive numbers and in the left hand side of the 0 all the numbers are negative numbers clear minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 This is a number line. Integer on the number line. Clear. One thing you see that here zero is there. Clear. In the right hand side, all the numbers are in ascending order. Okay. That means all the numbers are increasing. They are in ascending order. Here two is greater than one. Three is greater than two. Four is greater than three. Okay, all the numbers are in ascending order. Clear? And you see here, the uh, left hand side of the zero, all the numbers are in descending order. That means minus one. After that, minus two. Here, minus two is less than minus one. Now, one question may arise. You see. Two is greater than one. Clear? Two is greater than one. But who will we will put here minus sign? It will be minus two. Minus two or uh, is less than minus one. Clear? Two is greater than one. But minus two is less than minus one. Why? Because in the left hand side of the zero all the numbers are in descending order clear and in the right hand side of the zero all the numbers are in ascending order in the same way suppose that minus 2 and here plus 2 okay which sign will put greater than or less than clear which sign minus 2 And two, so obviously we will put less than sign. Clear? Just opposite two and minus two. So you see the number line. In the right hand side, all the numbers are in positive, and the left hand side, all the numbers are negative. So two and minus two. So obviously two is greater than minus two. Zero, zero is the zero is the mirror. Okay, zero is the mirror. You see, zero is neither positive nor negative. Zero is neither positive nor nor negative. Clear? Zero is the mirror. Clear? Now you see minus of minus eight. Clear? Minus of minus eight. It will be plus eight. Okay. Negative of negative integers. It is always a positive integers. Clear? Negative of positive integers. It will be a negative integers. Clear? That means negative of negative integers. It will be a positive integers. And Negative of a positive integers, it will be a negative integers. Minus of minus eight, it will be a plus eight. 
and minus of plus 8. It will be a minus 8. Clear? From this number line, we can arrange the number in ascending and in descending order. Clear? Suppose that 56, 45, 36, minus 25. Clear? This, these are the four numbers. Now we will arrange them in ascending order. Now we will arrange them in ascending order. Ascending means smallest to biggest. Clear? So, according to the number line, at first minus 25 will come. Next is 36. After that is 45. Next is 56. Clear? And in descending order, in descending order, the numbers are just opposite. 56, 45, 36 and at last minus 25. Now I am discussing the another examples of ascending order and descending order. You see, minus 19, minus 21, uh, plus, here plus 26. In the integers, if you will write plus 26, it's also correct. And you may write to only 26 also. Only 26 means also it is a positive integer. Clear? And plus 45. These are the four numbers. Now we will arrange them in ascending order at first. So according to the number line, at first which number will come? Minus 21. Next, it will come minus 19. After that, plus 26. Next is plus 45. Clear? Because once a time you place the number like 0 onwards, you see after that minus 15, minus 16, minus 17, minus 18. Minus 19, minus 20, minus 21. You see, at first which number will come? Minus 21. After that, minus 19. Clear? Next to a plus 26. And after that, plus 45. Clear? Now, the same number, we will um, arrange them in descending order. Clear? Descending order means just opposite of ascending order. That means plus 45, plus 26, minus 19 and minus 25, 21. In the, when you write the positive numbers, if you will write 45, it's also a positive number. If you will write a plus 45, it's also, it is a positive number. But according to the rules of integers, if you will write plus 45, it will be more significant. Clear? So, here already we have discussed about the ascending and descending order. Our next topic is absolute value. Okay. Here you see a number line. Here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It is a positive side. And here minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and minus 5. It is the negative side. That means here is plus 5 and Minus 5. Okay. Plus 5 and minus 5. Whatever is that? It is the 5 units from 0. Plus 5, plus five means 5 units from 0 in the positive side. 5 units of 0 in the positive side. And minus 5 means 5 units from 0 from in the negative side. Clear? That means Plus 5 means 5 units from 0 in the positive side. And minus 5 means 5 units from 0. 5 units from 0 in the negative side. Whatever is that? The number of units is 5. Whatever, whatever is that? Positive plus 5 or minus 5? The number of unit is 5. This is called absolute value. That means what is the absolute value? Whatever. 
plus 5 or minus 5. Whatever is that. Suppose that here is plus 6 and here is minus 6. Whatever is that plus 6, that means 6 units, 6 units from 0 is the positive sign. And minus 6 means 6 units from 0 in the negative side. Whatever is that? Plus 6 or minus 6 is absolute value is 6. Okay. Absolute value is denoted by this sign. Absolute value. Clear? That means plus 6. Mod of plus 6. It is 6. And mod of minus 6. It is also means 6. Why? Because mod of plus 6. Whatever is that? Plus 6 means 6 units from 0. Unit is same. What is the amount of your amount? Amount is, is 6 units. Unit is same. And mod of minus 6. It will be also 6. Because unit is same. 6 units from the 0. Clear? Now I am discussing another example of absolute value. Plus 45. Minus 29. Now you tell me. Plus 45 means 45 units for, from 0. 45 units from 0 in the positive side. So obviously it will be 45. Clear? And minus 29. Minus 29 means 29 units from 0 in the negative side. That means it will be also 29. Clear? So in this video already I have discussed all of the sums based on our first exercise. So hope you can solve in easy way. Thanks to everybody. Namaskar.